Welcome to Tea Time on Floss TV Africa, where we we'll bring you the biggest sentiment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my very interesting co anchors with me, Ife Omai and Ife Oluo Shanke. It's good. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's <laughs> it. Hi. Hi. Hmm. hmm. Okay, let's start with the good news. Nicki Minaj is pregnant with her first child. Um, the Arapa announced the news in a sweet Instagram post, and I'm just so excited for her. I feel like she really wanted this, yes, and it's did. happening for oh her right my now. God. So I'm so happy. I'm I so think, happy. I mean, I'm, I'm such a huge fan. Mm -hmm. Like, such a huge fan. And to see her come all this way from Safari to McMill, I mean, she's always wanted a baby in every single one mm -hmm. of them. So I'm so glad that she's had that. And I think, I don't think it's because, it isn't that she didn't, she wasn't ready before. I think she wanted the right time and she's found the right time. So I also like that she has kind well, of she like, wanted someone who wanted a baby with her too. Mm, yeah, maybe, yeah. There's that as well. So I'm glad that she's found that, that she's mm -hmm. been given that opportunity. I cannot, I'm really putting dibs on it being a woman, mm -hmm. like a girl. Mm -hmm. But I don't know, we'll see. Like I'm so excited, guys. I don't know, yeah, it's fine. So like, exciting. I'm happy. Baby Petty on the way. Nice <sighs> one. Not like You think like it's that. a boy? What? You think it would be a boy? No, Who she's petty as well. The so they're, bo petty. they're both petty. I don't understand. They're both petty. That's is the it? last name. She's so baby petty. She's petty. He's petty. No, please. It's <laughs> um, baby Minaj or... Yeah, Nikki. What's that other name? Erica or something? Can we... What's her okay, her I'm name? not doing this gender war today. It's not so, a gender no, war. No, no, we are no, just no. not it's comfortable it's with the word petty. Is that simple? <laughs> but you're comfortable with Nikki. Of course. Yes, nice. Nikki's baby. No, nah, not his baby. Is this his baby as well? Maybe if he's one that announced All it, right. we'll talk I'm about Congratulations to Nicki Minaj Petty. and her husband, um, Petty, on the arrival of their bundle of joy. We're happy for you guys. Sometimes you don't do to struggle to create an imbalance. He did not come out to announce the baby. It's Nicki Minaj that's announcing the baby. So she don't we are congratulating and we are happy for them both. I mean, if I, it's okay, don't spoil our joy. <laughs> We are carry you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you? moving on. Kanye West launches his campaign tour for the U.S. presidential election in a rally that has been tagged chaotic in Charleston, South Carolina, delivering an address that touched on theology, slavery, homelessness, corporate power, including an assertion that Harriet Tubman never actually freed the slaves, that she just had the slaves go work for other white people, and he was also involved in a long debate with an audience with an audience member about abortion mm. <sighs> Kanye know. West I, I, I can see people are picking and choosing the issues wrong with his statement but like, everything is wrong yeah <laughs> thank you <laughs> like I you think, carry on though mm -hmm. if you want to join this conversation or you have an opinion to share with us on any topic we will be discussing on this episode please send your opinions via whatsapp to 0906000 0906000 yeah I I, it's interesting that like no um, um, what's her name Turban didn't actually free people she freed people That's, that conversation has been happening before today mm -hmm. or oh, um, uh, my daughter and he, the, the problem is everything is wrong if you if 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 really truly he was okay mentally mm. um, that isn't how you even um, discuss a presidential rally mm. you know those are very personal beliefs he wasn't talking about America he was talking about his personal life and well, his maybe interaction to with he's about to force his beliefs down your throat exactly you and mistakenly that... voting <laughs> exactly I don't think someone in their right mind will even want to communicate that in a rally mm -hmm. the way he dressed like you, we, we talked about before the show and everything just seems like he's you know what it vibe me like like a rich man who's been in his mansion for a long time and is desperate for interaction and the only way to do that is to go and set up a rally. Honestly, to God, because it doesn't make sense why somebody with reason, like screw, the head is screwed on right, to spend that much money to perform like this and cry and be really out outrageous. It's mind boggling. I'm a big Kanye West fan, but after seeing that um, rally, the campaign speech, and all of that, I became very disturbed and worried for him mm. because. Um, that's not the way to go if you want to run for president like you we 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 both agreed on um everything is wrong with everything he said it's not like <laughs> I, I can't take away and say oh you made sense here 
I don't think anybody wants a leader that would break down mm. or would show off emotions. Not necessarily. Or let their emotions take have the best of them. Mm. I think a leader, what, what makes you a leader is being able to control your emotions. Stand firm. Take it as a man. You know, in your chest. the president of you the strongest nation, quote unquote, in the world. Even if you're going you know. to cry, it's not like that. And it's not on that type of situation. It's not in that platform. Not like, I've seen, I've seen some presidents that maybe when they go to a shooting site, like George Floyd yeah. or whatever, and they're really yeah. emotional. They walk away. That makes, yeah. Even if they, even they, 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 they cry, even if they cry, it's okay. But you're not saying that my... Why exactly? Are is you he crying cry. here? And then after your cry, you switch up real quick. And real quick. So that's some bipolar move ah, right more. there. That's so, a badass move. Uh. <laughs> bipolar. If he, if he takes that to Hollywood, it's, it's dope. Yeah, yeah, so that, that's a big it's... movie role. <laughs> so, but in, in all honesty, I think he needs some professional help. Mm. And um, he should, he, I heard he's refusing it. That's what I'm, oh, wow. I'm yeah, he's refusing professional help. Um, but I wish there was a law that could force somebody into an institution. Fortunate. <laughs> calling him mad. No, I'm not calling him you mad. You only force people who are mentally deranged. No, I just want them to just do an evolution and just mm. see. I mean, he's said it before now many times that he's on the antidepressants, he's on a lot of things, he's not going well, There are a lot of people okay, that are not, not mad that are on those things. I don't know. <laughs> you just Kim needs to get a hold of him. For the first mm. time in a long time, people are asking Kim to fix the situation. Mm. Like, usually... No, she has to. I mean, she has to. Her situation. Mm. Except she's coming out to tell us that it divorces and then, anyway. As long as about, that's not the case, then hmm. fortunately and unfortunately, talking it is about her situation and she needs to fix how it. How he almost killed this baby, that's a personal talk between mm. you and your wife. That's yeah. not public info. I don't like, think Kim would have liked us TMI. to know that. That's yeah. too much information. Way too much Way information. Like, we didn't need to know that. That's something you guys have gotten over. It's also after interesting. Three kids. It's also interesting. Okay, well, I mean, it has to be that because I was thinking, why not? But not is the only person she actually carried. So I guess it is. It is not. Okay. Anyway. Um, let's go for a very quick break. But when we come back, we definitely have more tea to drop. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> and plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dollar, everybody feeling all right. Still make music and people are still buying. Sometimes I they look myself minimal. Are you? music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! Sleeping early. Sleeping early. Welcome back. This is Still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. August Alcina drops new song, Entanglement, after Jada Pinkett Smith confirms past relationship. Alcina is putting his own spin on the word entanglement. His lyrics allude to the definition of entanglement um, to being when you tangle in the shit. The new track called Entanglement features rapper Rick Ross. <sighs> It's all st all shades of stupid. Very stupid. And Rick Ross is the biggest stand by out there. You know, John. <laughs> like, oh. I, I can't believe Rick Ross took so low. Like, were you getting paid? Did you have a crush on Jada? Are you trying to get like Rick Ross? What's your business? Do like, you let's even Why would assume. You in this let's game? even assume that August is love struck. He had to do a song. And the they did something like that. The entanglement was so good that he can't get over it, right? Uncle Ross, what's your business? <laughs> do you understand? He was only featured on his song. It's a song. It's money. And he making. said, "Is what?" Jada took it. Jada could have gone to somebody else's interview. Why well, should she do that? Address she has her own thing. So why can't he sing about his own problem? Why does he have to wait for somebody else? He's singing, to he's singing about a song his own like problem. a problem that he didn't even coin. The name entanglement didn't come from him. It After he sat there in the interview, and then crying, they're making it look claiming like that he was in love and he was and really happy. You know, it's you you're saying a lot of things. Because he was in love, you listen to that song. Does that song reflect any? 
continuing just, in just that conversation. Business. If you oh, listen please. to the lyrics of Red that Red 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 song, Red money from Red Table Talk. This is the so cream please. table talk. He could have made. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. He could have made listen. that song a lot more decent. For for goodness sake, have you not taken a cue from this guy? What's that guy that did it with Kim? Um, that guy that did stuff with Kim and um, then Ray J. Ray J. Like it's such a joke now. There's no way I can take um, what's it called. Arsenal. Arsenal seriously anymore Come on. because he has he, amazing songs that I can never take him for a joke. Please, please. even this entire argument, forget it. Let's remove the you cannot let's remove, remove Jada. No, 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 you can't. You can't. It's impossible. You, can't. 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 you, you can't. think that that J that, 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 that <laughs> so, <laughs> just remove you Jada that. from the picture? That's an amazing song. Please. How? How? It's so it's it's just basic. So you put it like back to what I was saying. What were you saying? Now, <laughs> you also made claims like she'll be back in your bed the weekend, hey. blah blah blah. Is that those, just a those, song? Are you is trying it, to? Is the adjuster? Is the adjuster? He's a cloud this is a chaser. Real life and that whole conversation he had on that couch was nonsense. That was going to destroy a family. Which Haven't family? you had that enough? That family cannot be destroyed. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. What are you saying? <laughs> you came on that table. People came. People came for her. So that song to me shows that everything you said on that couch was a but lie. But when, when did they get into the studio? When did when did they call me? <laughs> when did they tell when they about me all these things? You know, I you was know, thinking about it, so, and at some so, point, yeah, I felt. What if Jada, Willow, Recross, so everybody, in on this. they knew what was going on. It was a script that was going to be played out. It does not favor the Smiths. It's too, it's too, Do they too care? much of a stretch. They the care, point. fam. They care. Let me tell you, they care. Cause, mm. So like, so when did they call Rick? When did he get into the studio? Do you know when how long ago this was? This has been a while. So about last two, no, two call. weeks. Oh, okay. Two weeks. He came out two weeks ago. Red Table Talk was last week. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, but so no, entanglement was last week. Yeah. So, entanglement is the center of the song. I'm saying so between. The entanglement they've of, Rick, of, of. They've told him. Oh, yes, see, I'm pretty sure that boy that wanted to drop a song on. regardless when the, when he went to go and sit on that couch. So entanglement just is just. Because so so entanglement and what she said even has nothing to do with each other. The song wasn't about her. It was just for you to just call, bro, see and see what happened for the relationship. Now, like this, now, like this, the thing happened. You know, he gave him the whole load and now, oh, huh. Why would you claim that you love somebody to a point? Where you wanted to kill that if you killed yourself, eh, you'll no, be you you give, give his life and then you sing a song and it's all degrading. Like then you are you are you are you are what talking rubbish. Song that they were in bed together. I wish there was oh. a word I can use right now, but it's actually very the word starts with a B and it ends with chi. <laughs> yeah. It, yes, it's what chi. What's chi? It starts with the B and it ends with chi <laughs> for you to go and start talking about your experience in a relationship to another guy. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. That's something that. Okay, you would... it's fine. You guys don't like the song. Can we move on? We don't like him. I I still like August, please. The songs are. August is officially cast. You're gonna sit down, I beg. Yes, so. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Actress Lizzie and Jory reacts to reports that her husband dumped um, his five wives and numerous children to marry her. Now, um, she got married, I think it was on Saturday or Friday. I'm mm. not really sure. But over the weekend, we saw pictures um she said she married her friend of 14 years and have you guys noticed how this lockdown period seems to be like the time everybody's remembering to get married mm. and then the major latif got married it was in the last two weeks that's an hollywood actor as well um, oh, and we'll they, um do something this okay i don't want to mention oh, we'll johnson yeah he something. just got married to to his new base so. even this guy that came on the show a proco doctor also yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, a lot of people are uh, getting married this period. I, know, I mean, it's cheaper. That's what yeah. I just told you. Oh, and we'll it's, it's, do you don't need a way in this one. Now. That's what I'm telling you. Exactly oh, what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think it's, only just, okay. it's not even just because they lack the money, but I think uh, for a lot of people, it's, it's peaceful. It's a lot more yeah, if I had easier. If I, I, me too. Me now. too, honestly. Yeah. It's a good time okay, to get away from that drama. But um, see, even the person that addressed it, the way the person came Did you see the way she addressed it? Yeah. It shows that she knows that there are children. She knows that they are women, but she is claiming, in fact, this is my own interpretation. She's claiming that she's the only legally married right. wife. And Excuse. look, honestly speaking, I can't fault Liz. Her yeah. write up was apt, especially when she brought the law. I have me. a feeling someone edited that, but that's cool. I really don't <laughs> care, but she did a great job. Mm. Whoever the editor <laughs> is. Yeah. And the way she brought the law, big on me, she has fact to back up. So whatever you guys were saying is like, okay, yeah, my husband did the right thing at the end of the day. So she you can't fault that. Any child mm -hmm. coming yeah. from anywhere. Mm -hmm. it's so not, you can't it's fault not it. A so I mean, I'm on Lee's side on this one. I really mm -hmm. don't care how many 
married how many um women a man has been with before he finds the love of his life or mm. how many men a woman has been with before she finds the love of her life as long as he's working for the both of them amazing stuff okay i, I would agree and i i agree but i don't feel like that's a a genuine um reaction from a lot of people if the tables were turned but away from the unfortunate circumstances of today's reality is still what you said is still factual that as long as she's not wrecking somebody's home, they're not actually legally married. If you have five kids outside before you got married, what is the introduction and traditionally married? I mean, we don't know the full gist, but that's really the from, case. From so, what she's saying, know, even the video, go come in. like ah. yeah, men do that, fam, and mm. you won't say you did not break a home because they did not go to. But 14 years, she must have been there when, they were, when yeah, the home was yeah, being created. Yeah, yeah. To be honest with you, that's the only thing that made me lean more towards her. Because if she didn't know, if she didn't have that type of experience, it, it would be possible that she's in the dark. But mm -hmm. for whatever it is, she's made a conscious decision that's based on information for 14 years to know someone. So she, she knows yeah, what's going knows on in and think, out. So yeah. whatever she's decided, as like you said, except I don't know the details, but for of course. Us, um, surface value, mm, it's not a big deal. Okay, so veteran Nollywood actress Claron Chikura completes Bible school. She took to Instagram to express gratitude to God for seeing her through um, the challenges that the enemy of men threw at her to stop her. Who else? Who else is a pastor now? Uh, uh, Ikeria. Ikeria. Ikeria, yeah. Mama G2 is a pastor, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So, um, good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you go all the way back? I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> Could stop. No, yeah. I, I just wanted to be sh Kudos remember back. the other people. Kudos. Um, well, of, of all of them, I love you, Kiria's vibe. Like, yeah, me too. Yeah, me too. Can be you. You never know. You. Um, Claren just got in, so maybe I'll buy two. We saw her hat and the picture. It's not. It's not like you, Kiria's one. Don't worry. I mean, it's interesting. Obviously, I want to see what this looks like because even to say you go, you went to Bible school is very, is a very vague statement. She like, also said she was kind? called. God has called. Mm. I believe it's God. She has, she has, she was ah. called. She has been prepared and she has been trained. So this is not going on a soft spread out. Yeah, that's what, uh, what I was trying to derive at. Is like you don't know what type of Bible study she went to. What the purpose of that? God can call you many study. ways to minister is it from the house are you, taking, are you going to the podium are you doing Social like there's different media. ways to minister if that makes mm. sense like it could be music it could be even in acting she could go and join my <laughs> wow finish no call the name completely she could, join she could go and use <laughs> ministry for acting or whatever you don't really know so i think this is a space that i want to watch to see how she's going to actually utilize just for the this bible so I'm, I'm good i'll just check when i'm ready oh wow okay um it's time for another very quick break but when we come back we still have more for you Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I just see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Now? <laughs> <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling alright. Minimal mm. Apala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, really? <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping early. Sleeping early. <laughs> Well, of course, as expected, Big Brother Niger is generating a lot of conversations. And this one is coming from a Twitter user who says, No sensible man from Arewa would ever allow his daughter to join Big Brother Niger. Um, I wonder which part of the north this Aisha or Keisha comes from exactly. Of course, she's reacting to one of the housemates being from Sokoto, I think. Yeah, so she says if she's a northerner, then definitely she's not Aisha or Fulani because China and modesty are part of our culture too. It, that, yeah. that, that part, that yeah. part like, how is shivers in my <laughs> spine. Like my hair okay. rose okay. when okay. I read let's it. Let's agree. Let's let's even say we agree. Shyness and modesty. <laughs> let's even assume we agree. Mm -hmm. Can she be shy in the house? <laughs> yeah, Can you not be modest? Can in she the house? be modest in the house? Mm. What is he talking about? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I really don't get it. So let's even agree, okay, yes, it's our culture, right? <laughs> I cannot be shy. Cannot be modest. Nobody will chase you. Modest. You she sit in your corner. Exactly. Diane Russell was so shy. So would you wait for this lady to fault your culture before you fault her? She hasn't it's done anything very wrong. Bizarre. And this, this is very backward, mm. to borrow your words, yeah. for lack of better words. It's... I think it's very stupid. And I, and I, I really she doubt she is speaking for the northerners. She's speaking for herself and her um, myopic um, thing. You should yeah. be shy too. <laughs> I mean, she should be shy to tweet. Why is she using Twitter actually? Mm. She's, that's, that's, what she, that's what she even said because she was like, she would never watch Big Brother Niger um, ever. Yeah, yeah and because somebody we were asked her, her how did she you know? See? Yeah, yeah, she said she saw it on Twitter. Twitter, and blah, blah, blah. I don't think yeah. it's very modest for you to be online it's with not so, modest such, at all. you know. And it's not also modest for you to be insulting somebody. Or even father. wearing a wig, actually. Mm, yeah, there's a yeah, lot of that's things. That's not that our culture. It's not. <laughs> that, you're not shy. You, okay, you for real. Like, I understand. Do you think I was not joking? I understand that people are, um, there's some cultures that are, um, what's the word, conservative mm -hmm. in acting, but I think it, this idea, it, it, it's a human thing, I'm not going to say Nigerian or whatever, this idea that your belief system should override somebody else's decision is mad to me, like absolutely mad. And I think she's one of those that think that everybody from the north, north yes. are Muslims, yeah. everybody from, from the, the north, north are... have to be conservative and all. And, and then to bring case. somebody's father into it is really disrespectful very. as well. I'm very immodest, if you ask me. Mm -hmm. Like, where are your home trainings for that? I think their parents obviously allowed her mother. to enter that place, so I don't think you have a your opinion really doesn't count in that. People just really need no. to learn. So, so are you calling her father stupid or basically foolish? and I, you know there's a there's an example of someone that that told me something one time when we were having a conversation about the lgbtq whatever whatever and she said something she's not supporting she's not an ally she said in this world then let's just all have our bubble as long as your bubble doesn't rub mine i'm mm -hmm. good and mm -hmm. i think people need to really mm -hmm. live like that you want to go to bible study and like learn how to be a pastor do that with all your heart if you want to go to be brother and Elijah, do that as long as you're doing that it's not really rubbing off on me directly i don't see how aisha what's her name okay. Aisha, Aisha. 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 being in the house really affects your modesty and your shyness so girl or like, the entire people from the north you know like I mean, like and who mm. gives people the right to speak for other people mm. it's really crazy that's to what me. i'm saying just coming from a myopic place she doesn't even understand how i'm sure she doesn't understand how large the north is so mm. even how many people are in her own local government so yeah. let's not waste more time on this but this kind of works with our next topic works with what she has said which says your perspective determines your future and that's coming from rapper Erika, yeah, I don't know why I'm always trying to yeah. add money behind his name. Mm, why <laughs> is there money behind his name? Erika money. I think that's his name on Instagram or somewhere. Yeah. I know there's money somewhere, but anyway, mm. yeah, I think um, this lady needs to change her perspective based on what he said. But I actually agree with what he's saying because I think your perspective will also determine the choices you make, and of course, your choices will mm. definitely have a lot to do with where you're going mm. and what can be obtainable for you. So, um, I think what came to yeah. my mind really that for this conversation was the the relationship between optimism and pessimism i think that really blocks a Thank lot of you. people <laughs> that was um, exactly what i got from this yeah like even in this country for example the way it's built it is you're bound to be pessimistic and i've noticed that a lot of the times your mindset based on if you think that the issues beyond you are really unattainable like on achievable mm -hmm. yeah you you can easily be there mm -hmm. uh, the people that i've seen that have thrived here isn't, isn't always because they are richer or they have more money it's just it's because they believe that even despite the fact that it's built like this i am going to kind of like Success. still push through no matter what so i i, I kind of like the message that he was sending and it's good to like have a reminder for that that you know maybe dream bigger than yourself for those wondering what um, optimism and pessimism is, I'm looking she... at my cup of tea right now, mm. and it's a fool. Don't it's not leave half me. Empty. Don't leave me. Do you understand? But someone else would look at this and be like, "Oh, it's almost it's half empty," mm. you know. But I'm seeing it as it's half, half full. full. Mm. Do you understand? So mm. I'm optimistic, me, and I think a lot of people. If any of us, just go. <laughs> and I think a lot of people need to be very optimistic about their view mm. of life. Just say it positively yeah always look for the positive always look for a way out don't mm. dwell on even in bad um, situations you know one thing yeah. i always tell people is look when bad things happen to me i'll say it's the will of god if it wasn't supposed to happen it wouldn't happen mm. Mm. so i'm arguing with the will of god thing but just see it as part yeah, of I'll argue with you, um, events except it's my happen. negligence 
That mm. Even your negligence can be will of God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's the will of God anyways. Okay. So that's how we wrap up this episode of Tea Time with the will of God. We are not... <laughs> Thank we are you not. for watching. Don't look at it as the end. And you join the conversation <laughs> on social media with the hashtag Tea Time or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Also send your opinions via WhatsApp to 0906005719. Um, remember you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. Also watch Tea Time on r TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always will go to my interesting co-anchors Ife Omai and Ife Olu yeah, That's me. And the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name remains Elsie Godwin. To stay safe.